Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Lewis. I'm one of the owners and operators of Jay's Banquets at the Auditorium here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I'd like to take time and thank you for considering us for your next social event. Right now, I want to discuss one of the things that <laughs> is one of the most important features of your event, and that's the bar. The reason a bar is very important is because of versatility. One of the things that makes us successful is our uniqueness and our versatility, not only in our catering options, but in our bar options. So standard in majority of all my packages is my premium bar. My premium bar consists of Jim Bean, Seagram 7, Absolute Vodka, Seagram's Gin, Almeretta, uh, Saza, Tequila, uh, and Bacardi Rum and Captain Morgan Rum. That's my premium bar. Everybody knows those alcohols. Those alcohols have been around for a long time. But then you have more or less those individuals that drink a little bit more premium, a little bit more top shelf. So top shelf options. That's the bar that I like to say is the most versatile. Because what I try to mimic in this bar is actually your guests feeling as though they have their option of beverage. They're not limited to what we only provide, like in my premium bar. So the top shelf bar consists of a variety of different brown and white alcohols, along with upgraded Corona and Heineken's into the mix. So let me get into the top shelf. Top shelf. The reason I view the versatility of the top shelf of being important is because, quite frankly, you're investing more in drinks. Consider this. You invite 10 family members out to a restaurant. You say, everything's on me. At the end of the day, you have a suggested period of time that y'all gonna be there. So they go up to the bar and they order their drinks. That's how I view our top shelf bar. However many guests that you invite to your social event, wanna make sure that they are accommodated in their preferred beverage to a certain, certain point. Now there are certain liquors that people blow me away like Hendrix Gin. I've added and taken that away over the years. Um, but let me get into it. Top shelf bar. In our cognac category, we look at our Hennessy's, we look at our Ducey's. Those are the two cognacs that I mostly see, mostly everybody gravitate towards. In regards to my whiskeys and bourbons, we have Crown, Crown Apple, Crown Peach, um, along with Jack Daniels and Maker's Mark. Do a little Southern comfort there as well. Let me move into my liqueurs, Almeretta, Grand Marnier. Now, where the versatility really hits home is the vodkas. So in a vodka category for me, I've always noticed, and I'm a very observant person in this industry, is you have two type of vodka drinkers. You have your classic vodka drinkers, and then you have your new age clock vodka drinkers. Your classic vodka drinkers are Kettle One, Belvedere, Great Goose. Your new age is Tito's, which is a wash between the two because it's still a smooth, but fairly new and successful uh, uh, vodka in its own right. Now, the new age, new age is your Ciroc drinkers. Those are the flavored vodkas. I carry a large assortment of those from apple, coconut, pineapple, mango, and red berry for those that want to infuse their preferred beverage with a little bit more kick of a flavor. Now, rums, we have Malibu, we have the Picardi, we have the Captain Morgan, which is part of our premium brand, but we also bring in a Kraken rum, which is a dark 94 proof, and we bring in a bamboo. Uh, rum, uh, tequilas, we have our Don Julios, we have our 1800s, and we have our Patrons. Gins, we have Tangeray, we have, I always butcher this name, Befita or Bifita, if you will, and there's one more. What is that last one? Oh, Bombay. How can I forget Bombay Gin or Bombay Sapphire? Duh. Uh, in any case, What's also standard across the board in my bars is the fact that I incorporate wine and beer. I mentioned earlier, Top Shelf brings Coronas, it brings Heineken's. What I didn't mention is the fact that what's standard is Bud Light and Coors Light, along with five wines. Those five wines are two reds, three whites, Merlot, Cabernet, White Zippendale, Moscato, Chardonnay. Pretty much covers everything. Every once in a while, we get a guy, a gal that's looking more or less towards that Pinot flavor, whether it's a Noir or Grigio. 
kind of keep those on deck as far as a few bottles, but not many because that's not really a, that's, that's really one of those classic drinks or classic preferred beverages, similar to scotches. For those that may be listening and they didn't hear me say, you didn't say scotch. I keep one or two bottles, but that's nothing that I really bring to the forefront because it really keeps shelf space. Not everybody's a scotch drinker, especially in large gatherings. However, when someone says they're looking for scotch, my bartenders who are trained and licensed professionals know to go in that liquor cabinet and grab that bottle. So that's a little bit about us at Jay's Banquet at the Auditorium here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I hope this gives you a good perception of who I am and what we offer in regards to versatility on one of what I deem to be one of the most versatile and important um, aspects of any event, and that's the bar. You got to come up here, get you a non-alcoholic wine, beer, or alcoholic beverage at some point during any social event. So I want to make sure that that versatility is reflective upon my clients, upon ourselves, so that everyone can have a really good time. I want to thank you all for listening. God bless. Be sure to follow us on our social media sites. Um, call us at our phone number, along with, if you're inquiring, our website is listed below. Again, thank you. God bless.